like, this is, subscribe. <laughs> this is my little niece, Ivy. She's gonna help me set up this new uh, gazebo tent. Okay. And it's about to rain, so we need to hurry. We are, Ivy, don't leave me. <laughs> this is a tent that you're supposed to be able to set up in 45 seconds. It's raining. <laughs> Oh yes, let's go this way. Definitely not 45 seconds. <laughs> okay, I see what I'm doing wrong. Almost, come back. <laughs> you left me all by myself. It's taking a little longer than 45 seconds. <laughs> but, hold on. Oh, this thing's big. Yeah. Ah, there. Yes! We did it! Yes! Oh, oh, get in there! I'm still getting wet! Let me put the covers on. And then, how do you do it? Okay. See? And maybe I'll turn it a little lighter. And this is cool, right? Yeah. And you can, you know. And what's this chain for? Oh, yeah, like, you like you can hang, hang it? it Let's hang it like up there, or maybe somewhere? Here? Yeah, this would be fun to sleep here. Then we could like see the lights. Yeah, but what if it starts raining? What's gonna happen? You're gonna run away. <laughs> nope. No. I'm a deep sleeper. <laughs> Torches. Oh, matches. Matches. Yeah. Measuring tape. Oh yeah, we don't. I don't know why we have measuring tape. <laughs> I told you why did you bring oh and I don't know why she brought tape. Oh okay. So what this is, um, this is a little collapsible sink. <laughs> you can That's use cool. it you can use it to wash dishes. Or in this case you can use it to put Legos in. Put Legos in. Keep them all in one place. So first step, let me find those pieces. I got the first step done. 
figure out these lights. I'm trying to figure out how to connect this. Mm -hmm. So we're both in trouble. Oh, you know what I forgot? We have this chair. Look, you can sit here if you want. Ooh, yes. Whoa. This thing is. It's nice, right? Nice. <laughs> oh, it's already looking beautiful. Hello. That, that's pretty. That's nice, right? I, so this, if it's not raining, you can open it up, get some air. I made this. <sighs> well, I left this here overnight and I uh, should have secured it because look at this. I don't know what happened, but this is really uh, my fault for not securing this properly. So yesterday I tried talking. Yes, I did try talking yesterday, but it was raining so hard that you couldn't hear anything. So here I'm back the next day. I left this set up overnight. And as you just saw, I didn't secure it properly. So it was probably flying everywhere. I'm getting ready for my next trip. So I have this and I have some other things. And if you watched my previous video, you know that as ridiculous as it sounds, I'm waiting for my mangoes to ripen. I have a mango tree here in my mom's yard. And I planted it three years ago. This is the first time that it produces fruit. So I have to at least get one mango, at least one mango. The squirrels are eating the mangoes. I did order some uh, squirrel repellent from Amazon. Anyway, I'm gonna take this down before it gets dark. I got a package. I'll show you what this is. It's big. It says it's fragile. So it's not that heavy. If that gives you a hint, it shouldn't be too heavy. Ta-da! Can you see it? <laughs> this is huge. The dimensions are 67 inches long by 35 inches wide, 16 inches high. I believe the carrying capacity is 110 pounds and it weighs 35 pounds. Okay, so I get two keys, which is nice because I wanna keep one of the keys with me in the keychain, and then I'll keep one in the car just in case. What if I fell in the water and lost my keys? Like I lost my sunglasses, remember? I will not forget that. Some of them, the more expensive ones, you can open from both sides. This one just opens from one side, which uh, for me, I think will be okay. I wonder if I fit in here. That's not necessary. But the most important thing is being able to fit this gazebo tent in here, which fits perfectly. I have a lot of space in here. Yeah, I guess this does not open any further. It's gonna be a challenge getting way in there to get stuff out. These are the clamps to secure it to my rack. It shouldn't be too hard. I think that if I can get this on top of my car, then it should be, the rest should be easy. What I'm gonna do is see if I can pick it up. If I can pick it up, then I probably would be able to install it myself. So let's see. It's empty. Oh yeah, this will not let you take the key out unless it's locked, which is nice. Let's see if I can put it over my head without dropping it. Ready? <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Oh God, it's not, oh no, maybe not. I am stronger than this, I swear. I can push press 75 pounds and this is just 35. So it's not because it's heavy, it's just, really awkward. Okay, ready? Oh, nope. I mean, I can carry it. Maybe I'll just have to find somebody to help me. <sighs> Sometimes it's better to ask for help than get hurt doing something that 
maybe a little bit too much for you. How am I giving up? Hold on, maybe if I put my hair up. Just be smart. Is it recording? The little red light is on. Yeah, since I couldn't set up that box by myself, I decided to come here instead. This is the beach, one of the beaches in Naples where I live when I'm not on the road. I've been living here for the past 20 years. Before living here, I lived in Bolivia. That's where I was born and raised. What I'm doing here on this channel is really what I've always wanted to do. I love traveling. I love filming and editing vlog style videos like these. The fact that this channel is growing and I already have over a thousand subscribers, you guys, I really, really appreciate that. It means the world to me because this is, this is my dream. Anyway, I gotta go because it's about to rain. So thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to my TED talk. Oh my God, it's so sandy. You can see the rain back there. The water is warm here. Feels so good. What, is that a dolphin?